Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with another review. And today I have the Pile PFA 540BT Bluetooth amplifier and receiver. This product produces 100 watts of 5.1 channel audio and offers a wide variety of both input and output connections to make using your existing equipment incredibly easy. Now, before we get too deep into the review, I always like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll take a closer look at the amplifier itself and I'll explain the connections and indicators. And then I'll come back at the end and actually point out a few things that really separate this particular product from other Bluetooth amplifiers on the market. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, you'll find the amplifier, a really nice remote control that allows you to make adjustments from across the room. You'll find a power supply. This end plugs into the wall. This end has a barrel connection on it and it plugs into the back of the unit. That's all the power you'll need to operate the product. They also include a connection cable for audio input. This has two RCA plugs on the end of it, which plug into the back of the amplifier. And the other end has a three and a half millimeter stereo plug that you can use to connect older media equipment to the amplifier. They also include an antenna extension because in addition to it being an amplifier, it's also an FM radio receiver. By plugging this antenna in the back and stretching it out on the wall, you'll get much better reception on the FM radio. Also included is a warranty card with all the information you'll need to get in touch with the company if you have questions or problems later on, as well as a full instruction manual that lists specifications, connection diagrams, and other information you'll need to understand about the product to use it correctly. Now, let me give you a little bit of an overview of what this product provides because a lot of the Bluetooth amplifiers on the market are really just that, they're Bluetooth amplifiers. What this Pile product does is build in a lot of other inputs in addition to the Bluetooth that allow you to connect up a wide variety of audio gear. So let's start with the Bluetooth. It's Bluetooth 4.0 compliant, and it's very easy to connect it to your phone or your tablet by putting it in Bluetooth pairing mode and doing the same on your device. You'll find each other over that Bluetooth connection, and then you can play any of the music on that portable device through the amplifier. In addition to that, this unit provides an HDMI input for connection as well. So if you have a DVD player or some other media device that outputs audio through an HDMI connection, you can plug it into the back. It also has an HDMI output port on there as well, where you can connect up an external device like a soundbar or something else for the audio coming out of the device. Or if you want to use it as a pass-through device between your DVD player and your TV, you can do that as well. Finally, it's got an RCA set of connections on the back that allow you to connect up older devices to the product as well. And again, those three different inputs pretty much cover any piece of media gear out there on the market today. Now, as far as outputs go, the product produces, like I'd mentioned, 5.1 channel audio, and you have a series of connections on the back where you can connect external speakers up to it. You also have the HDMI output connection, as well as a subwoofer connection on the back. So you can use this in a 5.1 setup with a subwoofer in addition to the speaker. So it does give you a lot of variety on the input and the output. The case is full metal, so it's going to really last you a long time. It's incredibly durable. They've got heat fins on the top and the side, so as the amplifier is being used, it does get a little bit warm, so the heat will dissipate off those fins. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the unit. I'll explain the input and output connections on it, and then I'll come back and point out a few things about the amplifier that really separated from a lot of other products on the market that do similar things. The Pile Bluetooth amplifier features a full metal enclosure, which makes it incredibly durable and also helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the electronics inside. On the top surface, as well as the side surface, you'll notice heat fins that are designed to dissipate the heat inside the unit to keep the electronics at a comfortable temperature when they're operating. You'll also notice brackets on the side that can be used to mount this unit to a wall or to the back of your media cabinet to get it up off the ground and out of the way if you choose to do that. On the front of the unit, you'll find a series of buttons and a volume control, as well as a digital display. The display will let you know exactly what mode you're in, what station you're on if you're in FM mode, and your volume level. The buttons down the bottom, one is a standby mode. You can actually put it in standby and mute the audio. The next are tuner down and tuner up. If you're in FM radio mode, you can tap those to adjust to the station you'd like to listen to. To the right of that is a surround button. If you turn that on, it'll put it in surround sound mode. There's also a mute button here that you can use to mute the audio independently. If you're in a hurry and you don't want to have any music playing, you can tap that, it'll shut it off. Then finally, there's an input button here. And if you tap that, it'll actually walk through all the various inputs that the unit provides. Finally, the volume control has got a really nice feel to it. It's got a detent built into it, so it's not purely an analog switch. You can actually hear the detents. Hear that clicking? It's a really nice feel to the volume control and I appreciate that. On the bottom of the unit are four rubber feet that'll keep it exactly where you place it. It also protects the surface you set it down on. 
On the rear of the unit are where all the connections are made. Starting on the left-hand side, you'll find a DC input port. That's used with the included power supply. You'll plug the power supply into any standard wall outlet. The barrel connector on the other end of that cable plugs in right there. That's all the power you'll need to operate the unit. To the right of that are your speaker connections. You'll run a wire from your speakers to this block and connect them up. Make sure you keep the phasing the same so you want to have plus to plus on the speaker and minus to minus on the speaker. Front speakers, center speakers, and rear speakers. You'll also find an active subwoofer right here. So if you've got a subwoofer, you can plug an RCA plug in there and that'll make the subwoofer come to life. Below that are your HDMI inputs. You have a choice between one and two HDMI inputs, again, from a DVD player or some other device that outputs the audio through the HDMI and one HDMI output port. Above that are your audio inputs. This is an analog audio input, it's auxiliary, and that can be from any device that uses RCA to actually communicate with the audio to the amplifier. And finally, there's a connection here for the FM antenna. Again, I mentioned they include a short wire with a connector on it in the kit. You'll want to connect it up here. The best thing you can do is actually extend that wire as long as you can and tape it to the back of your media cabinet or to the wall behind the media cabinet to get the best FM reception. And that's pretty much it for the amplifier. I hope that closer look was helpful. Now here are a few things to keep in mind when comparing this Pile Bluetooth amplifier to others you may be considering. And the first thing has to do with the Bluetooth connection. This product provides a Bluetooth 4.0 compliant connection, and that's really important because a lot of competing products may use an older version of Bluetooth, which really limits how far away from the amplifier you can be with your portable device. So always look for a Bluetooth 4.0 or newer. The other nice thing about this is on the input, it has two HDMI inputs and a single HDMI output. A lot of other products on the market don't offer an HDMI input at all, and if they do, it may be just one of them. This has two different HDMI inputs, which means I can connect up two different HDMI devices and easily switch between them. It also offers an HDMI output port, which means I can pass that audio through the amplifier back to a TV if I decide to do that. I also like the fact that they include a remote control. A lot of these amplifiers don't include a remote control, and that means every time you want to make an adjustment or switch between inputs, you've got to get up from your chair and walk across the room and make the adjustment there. I also like the fact that they build in an FM radio. A lot of these amplifiers are just pure amplifiers, and every now and then you may want to tune in a radio station, and the fact that the Pile product includes that means that you can enjoy FM radio, or you can pick from one of the inputs that you've got connected. The last thing I wanted to mention was the output section on this. 100 watts of power is a really loud amplifier, and it's a small unit. A lot of other units on the market may be a 60 watt or a 40 watt, and it's not like you're going to crank it all the way up all the time, but every now and then if you're having a party, you need a little extra amplifier, you can crank this up and you're going to get plenty of sound out of it. They also give you a wide variety of connections on the back with the connection block and the fact that they include a single output for that subwoofer really makes this an incredibly cool product. And the fact that it supports a 5.1 channel audio is also another benefit. So hopefully you found this review helpful. I think this is a great product. Pile's a company that's been around for a long time. They've made some really high quality audio gear. So you're buying from a company that you know is gonna be there if you have questions or problems later on. And in general, I think it's a really good product for the price. So thanks again for watching. And until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy.